When you're doing a workbook or a cheat sheet or any other kind of online course download that you want to give people, we often use these boxes. They're just text boxes in Word to outline things like key takeaways or action steps. And when you get the brandable version, you may want to change some of that or copy or paste, add content to it, move it around, change the colors. And it's relatively simple to do. All you have to do is highlight it. So there's a little crosshairs I've used to just highlight the box itself. You can tell I have the box highlighted because when I hold my mouse down, I'm just moving the box. Now, if I want to change the color of the box, I go up to the top where it says shape format. So that menu item won't show up unless you click on a shape. Now that I've clicked on it, I can click on shape format and I can change the outline to a different color. I can change the weight of that if I want a thicker box. Lots of different options to play with there. I can also change the shape fill. So you could have, say, a light gray. You can make something darker and make white text, though then it doesn't print as well. So stick with something light colored. But that makes it stand out well as also. Now, if you want to move it around, again, you can just drag it. Or if you wanted to move the whole block, you could highlight everything, the text and the shape. Because if you click inside and do anything there, like just highlight the text, that's all you'd be moving or changing. Or you may want to just add text as well, in which case you would make the box bigger or smaller by dragging on the little dots around here. But to move it, as I was saying, you want to click above it. This is the easiest way. So your cursor is above the box. Then if you highlight all the way down, you'll see right now I only have the text highlighted. I want to get the box highlighted as well. So that first time I just had the text. You can see just the text is highlighted because it's not grayed out. So there isn't quite enough room for me to get it all. I'm going to move the learning objective section down and try again. This time I'm going to go above. So in this case it's highlighting more than I want. So I'm going to add another thing above, another space above as well. And now let's try it. Now you can see it's highlighting everything. But if you see, not all the text is highlighted until I get my cursor over it all. So now I let go of the mouse and you can see I've got both the box highlighted and the text highlighted. So I'm going to press Control C to copy that and let's just find a place to copy it so you can see. I'll put it over here and Control V and now it's copied everything. So if you try, say, just highlighting the box and copying that, pressing Control C and maybe going down a bit, only the box highlighted. See, this is the box and I can move it around anywhere. If I scroll up or down, it's not going to show in between the pages, but you can see how that just has the box. We don't want to do that. You wanted the text as well. Let's just undo that. Go back up. You could also just highlight the text and copy that and move that down, say, here. That would just copy the text. So there's a lot of different things you can do. But again, if you want to copy all of it, the box and the text, you have to go above it, make sure there's space, and then drag down so you can see that the box highlighted. So that's copying the box. But then for all the text again, I have to take my mouse, hold my, my clicker down, and highlight everything in order to do that and then play with it as well. And you can move it around. You can also adjust the box itself. Sometimes it takes a few clicks to find that little crosshairs to get it. But if you click on this little thing that pops up, that also gives you f some more options around moving things with the text or fixing the position on the page. But it's best to keep it simple. Use it as is the way we give it to you with our brandable courses and hopefully that will make your life easier. Let me know if you have any questions.